Hello YouTube. Sunday afternoon about two o'clock. Looking over the little horde. Yeah, we didn't go out Thursday night. As most of you know, I wrenched my back out again. Did it on the job at work. Three hours from home. The boss had to send a couple guys up, one to drive my truck back and one to bring me back. So I'm just kind of wandering around, looking at what I can do. Can't be lifting anything. I can cut cords, so wander around and do that. I don't like to sit around and not do anything, but this time I wrenched it out pretty good, so. Yeah, you see the doctor on Thursday. Did an MRI there, what, two weekends ago? Well, they're gonna show different now, but we'll see what the doc has to say. But anyways, a little update. Beautiful sunny day, it's like 56 Fahrenheit out. Sun's shining, birds are singing. Our red-winged blackbirds are back, our grackles are back, our cowbirds are back. Haven't seen any robins yet. Woodpeckers are here. But if I shut up a little bit, you can hear them singing. Gorgeous day nonetheless, right? There's Star. She's out in the backyard. Got lots of sniffs to sniff. So I can do something anyways. Ah, Mr. Scrappity, you got yourself a new truck, but you're having issues. I wrote a comment on your uh, channel today about it. What I meant by checking to see which cylinder is misfiring. You have the truck running, pull one plug wire off at a time. If it doesn't make a difference, you know what, what cylinder is acting up. I have that once in a while with my truck. Uh, I have an eight cylinder. I do believe it's cylinder number six. It fouls a plug up because the oil leaks through the valve a little bit. And you get a little misfire. And it, yeah, it fouls the plug up because the oil wrecks it. But that's how you can detect right away which cylinder is acting up. Have the vehicle running, have an insulated tool, just pop plug wire off. If it doesn't make a difference, there's your problem. You could have a bad wire, bad plug, combination of both. Could be your, uh, that cylinder is following up the plug right away. Just an idea, man. Everybody's saying EGR valve and the OCD valve and the, what'd someone say? The muffler bearing? <laughs> Never heard of that, but whatever. Might be a Chinese car that has bearings on the mufflers. Well, good luck, buddy. It's a nice truck. I see you did away with the extended cab and you went with a longer box. Well, you can get more scrap in it. Sometimes I wish my truck had a longer box. That's why you put the tailgate down, right? Makes the box longer. So I'm thinking of getting a lift for my truck. I'm going to have to. If I'm going to try and keep up scrapping. I might have overdid it a little bit last week. With lifting all these appliances up. Trying to be He-Man, get it done quicker. I'm not getting any younger. And if I can't do anything, then my wife's got to clean all this mess up, so. Look at that. Can you see some, something scary? Look, I'm in shorts. <laughs> Those white legs. Yes, it's that nice out. It's a gentle breeze, I think. You look at the flag. So yeah, I have some work to do, so that's what I'm going to do, some cord cutting. The fans I can attack because they're not heavy, anything light. I can't touch the microwaves yet. Might have to hire one of my boys to help the old man out around the yard. That microwave looks pretty damn clean, doesn't it? The door's backwards. 
Oh no, it's upside down. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it looks very clean. Wow. Might be another one that works. Get this nasty thing off of it. Oh yeah, it looks like I scratched the glass all up. What does it look like on the inside? Oh, it's been used. Okay. We're not going to worry about it then. It will come apart. We did sell that one we had. It was awesome, perfect shape. Wasn't There was no way they used it. Filters were clean. Didn't even have a scent to it. You could stick your nose inside. Holy, this one actually says made in Canada. Burlington, Ontario. Wow. It's a GE. They bring good things to life. I don't think GE existed anymore. General Electric. So that's what I'm doing. Just kind of Part and roll, yeah, the alcohol containers, that's what I wanted to show you. My wife and I are going to sort through them, mainly my wife. Garbage cans full, beer cans, liquor bottles, beer bottles. Yes, we got a little hoard this week, so we have to go through it all. Yeah, not that, those pop cans. But hey, if they were willing to put them back in the case like that, right? There should be another one. There it is. More Pepsi cans. But these are all liquor bottles. Mm, it's full. Uh, see? That one's full. That one's full. They're all full. And yes, they are factory made ones. Oh, those might not be. Those they probably, uh, that one they will. Maybe. Uh, if these are made for a wedding, they won't take them. Yeah, those are no good. Okay, that's fine. As long as they got a regular label on them, then they're alright. Well, we just put them in our blue box. Good enough. Or we'll bring them in anyways and see what they say. Good day to have the burn bucket going. I got lots of cardboard to burn. I really hear the birds back here. Until I walk back here. I'm doing a lot of twitching. So that's why I haven't put out a video in a while. Apologize. I've been on live stream, but I can only sit for so long. And it's getting back up is what hurts the most. So. And yeah, I even walk funny. And it does ping every once in a while, so I gotta watch what I do. I don't need anybody to feel sorry for me, just letting you know that I'm down and out. Well, I'm down, I'm not out. A little bit of work to do in here yet. That was what I attacked earlier in the week. I think you saw that, ripped up, ripped a few dishwashers apart still have to come out but they need to screw off the end here taking off so it'll come out and the blade these motors yeah they generally just get thrown in the motor bucket these gotta come apart yet see there's copper in there see that sparkly stuff should be able to see in this one too then I don't, it's sealed up same type this washers were twins and this came off that washing machine front load it had a really nice aluminum flywheel cast aluminum see it's another reason why I like to pop them open otherwise that goes into the shred and that's not nice put that in the shred so yeah 
I didn't turn it yet. Time changed. It's 10 after 2. See? It's in the garage. Let's step out into the sunshine. So it's probably a little warmer. Breezy, but warmer. So that won't be running. I have to put a new uh, gasket on that door. As you can see it on the floor, it fell right out in pieces. Well, it's not a snake. <laughs> That's what you find scrapping. It heats the garage. So we sold a few things this week. She sold her vacuum. Uh, we got rid of a couple power washers. Like I said, check, check, check. The only reason why I think power washers are still in like new shape is because people get sick of using them. There's a lot of work to drag one out to use it. Because they're not cordless. Even a gas powered one isn't cordless. You still need a water supply hooked up to it. And that's what the drawback is. Right? The downfall. You still got to hook a garden hose up. And you got to move it around. Because the hoses they give you, unless, like I did it for a few years, I worked for a power washing company. And they had 50 foot hoses on the spray nozzles. So you never had to move the machine around. Actually, the machine was attached to the truck. Pickup truck, so. The hoses were always long enough. 50, 100, 200 foot hoses. That's the problem with them. So yeah, always check them when you find one. And the two we just sold, they're both in their original boxes, so that, I guess, helped maybe a little bit with the sale. But I check them all, hook them up, hose is right there, hydro is right there, I check them out. I'll power wash either my wife's car or my car to make sure that they do their job. You don't just turn them on and set them off, you got to check them, make sure they do have their pressure. Otherwise, you're selling junk. I have one in there I forgot to bring in the house, so it might be junk now. If it had water in the pump, freezes, it cracks, and that's the end of them, right? <sighs> this is all shred. Yeah, there's no market for bed rails around here. Can't wait for the grass to start turning green. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Okay. This is a little update. 13 minutes long. Yeah, we even collect those. They call them over here the bionic hose. It's stainless steel with aluminum ends. See the ends down there by my foot? They work just fine. I'll hook these up, see if they do leak or not. Sometimes people just throw them out. I have the same hose and I like them. They actually work good. So we'll try it out. If not, I got to pull the plastic liner out and it's stainless, right? So no big deal. I think we have a vacuum in here that might have to get checked. There it is. It's Dyson. I think they cut the plug end off of it. I think. Yep, they did too, the dirty buggers. Right there. I could always hook another end. I have lots of male ends. That I do have plenty of. I can hook one up. It's only a two wire. It's got more cord in it. Who knows, it might work just fine, right? Everything's there with it, all the attachments. I got someone that uh, bought the one from us and it, she returned it, it was no good. Apparently she's bought a couple from us before. She's got a small little business where she cleans houses. So she said, if you get another one, let me know. And well, sure. We always come across vacuums. That's why I like, but canister vacs are getting hard to find. It's usually the uprights, and she doesn't want no uprights. 
I think that's the only canister one we got this week. Ow! Oh, that hurt. <laughs> yeah, upright. Oh, there's one. This little guy. But that don't have a power head or anything. It's just a plain Jane. Oh, you can adjust the power. What the hell? Samsung. Huh. Okay, I'll have to check it out. I forgot. You get too much scrap, forget what you get. Even a microwave on the ground there. Didn't know that either. One, two, three, four. Five, six. No, oh, five, six. Six microwaves. I have to strip down yet. None over here. No, nope, just two TVs. Computer complete. Oh, yeah, I got a great big computer in there. Lots of fans. <sighs> Seem to be the theme. Dehumidifier, box fan. Yeah, so it's just that one and the other one that are canister backs. Okay. Fine, be that way then. And a few electronics. Yeah, I don't see any more. And that's the pile that started last year already and haven't gotten to it yet. See that? I'm getting behind. The tarp ain't doing squat anymore. Oh, there's another one. I don't think it has anything with it anymore. That's no good. It's still old. Okay. Oh, look at that. The dirty buggers, eh? Here's the plug-in for that Dyson. They cut it and wire tied it there. You dirty buggers. I'm thinking it still works. We'll just put a new end on her. I can sell it for 20 bucks. Not a problem. That's $300 vacuum, I do believe. Dyson. I don't know why anybody spends that much money on them. They break just like the rest. Okay. Like, subscribe, and share. Or not. Mr. Scrappity, good luck with your truck. Try what I said. Mr. King, I see you're having issues with your balls. <laughs> Ball joints. I think you're getting it figured out. I haven't seen a video from you in a day or so. So I'm guessing you got her down pat there, buddy. Yeah, when you sell your broken stuff like that, I always look at it and say, why doesn't anybody put grease into anything? That's a 94, still has the original ball joint, still has the original universal joints. You grease your stuff, it goes a lot longer. It takes a few minutes, that's all. I know you bought it as a used truck, but you should grease the hell out of them as soon as you get them. I'm not giving you shit, I'm just giving you a hell of a good suggestion. Grease, grease, grease. You do an oil change, you grease at the same time. That way everything's all done at the same time, right? Then you know the last time it was greased, the last time you changed the oil. So yeah, Mr. Scrappity, get under there with a grease gun. You don't have anything making noise yet. This will prevent it. Even if it's slightly worn, it'll last longer. Just ask Bert from Scrap Farm. He knows that. So anyways, have fun. Enjoy your day. What's left of it? I get to do almost nothing.